Bitcoin lets its juice loose, achieving a $5,000 plus pump in just the last 24 hours and saving its weekly candle close. This top altcoin looks just as likely to bust as its bigger brother. But the real question is, are we about to bust? I'm your host, Buster Bust a Lot, and if there's one thing I know how to do, it's bust a lot. Absolutely big. We have so much to be jumping into with Bitcoin's price as after spending the last few weeks in a dumpy trajectory, Bitcoin is finally giving us some hints and signs that there is life and we've entered a bounce zone. But the question is, will we still be visiting lower targets or is the bust about to bust even more? Absolutely time sensitive alerts as well. If you guys are interested in any bonuses or deals below, make sure to check out the description or pinned comment. Without any further ado, let's bust on in. Big. So with less than an hour to go before this weekly close, Bitcoin pumped uh, nearly four thousand dollars and uh, turned this devastating-looking weekly candle into something much more tolerable and much more potentially bullish. Right. This happened within the final. I believe it was like the final 45 minutes. Right. It was a uh, like less than an hour that we saw all of this price rump up to the upside before we got this close. So we're gonna be jumping into that. But as well, guys, it's so important. I rarely talk about altcoins and the coins that I do talk about uh, besides Bitcoin are always within like the top 10. I very rarely talk about coins outside, but obviously Polygon is one of those coins that I've been talking about. And um, there's a reason for this, okay? Both technically and fundamentally. So one of the big complaints, obviously, of Ethereum is gas fees. So this proposal to migrate Uniswap to Polygon received uh, roughly 8 million uni yes votes here. And so what does this mean? So Uniswap saw a proposal on its forum uh, nine days ago suggesting it should migrate to Polygon, a scaling solution. Since Uniswap, an automated market maker, is built on the Ethereum blockchain, it is plagued with high gas fees and slow transactions. And Polygon proposed to migrate the AMM on its platform to address these issues. This will allow users to transact on the AMM without having to worry about high gas fees. Now, this is just now this is just huge, clearly. And, uh, you know, even besides this, I'm very bullish on Polygon. But again, this is just another this is just another little fix that, uh, you know, Polygon aims to address here. And so it could continue its ascent in terms of price uh, trajectory here to the roughly two dollar area. And um, if we take a look uh, right here. Uh, on Polygon, you can see obviously this is a textbook symmetrical triangle and in my opinion still looks extremely bullish here. Uh, it's all time highs all the way up here near $3. And um, again, it, the market cap is small enough that we could see easily a five plus dollar uh, Polygon before this cycle is over. And the way things are playing out, it looks as though this cycle might get pushed out a little further, which again, the longer it takes to achieve some of these prices, the more healthy and slow that we climb up. You know, maybe we don't even top out until the summer of next year. Who knows? I'm not saying that's going to happen, but who knows? Uh, I'll tell you who knows. Literally no one, okay? Literally no one on the planet. So the longer it takes, uh, th the more uh, pumped up this entire market could get. And uh, over time, uh, what will happen years and years in the future is that real products will achieve higher market caps than... I don't know, the doggy coins, okay? The doggy coins shouldn't have market caps. Uh, and they will over the next few years, but maybe 5, 10, 20 years down the road, if humans still exist, uh, those coins will be in the garbage. And coins that are actually doing something will have the market cap. This is that intermediary period where it's a lot of speculation and 10-year-olds uh, on TikTok are pumping up like Shiba coins and stuff like that. But in the future, real projects, okay, like Bitcoin, and in my opinion, like Polygon, will have value. So again, just something I'm very excited for. Obviously, I've been saying for a long time I like this project and it's no secret that I am invested in it, obviously. But as well, here we have this potential bull flag with Bitcoin. Now, there's no confirmation just yet that this is the full breakout, but clearly Bitcoin has been, uh, and again, this is something we talked about over the last few weeks. It doesn't really matter if Bitcoin has 100% bottomed yet. It's in a bullish consolidation, just like we saw back in August to the end of September before it broke out. Similar to like what we saw at the very bottom, we talked about 30K back in the summer of this year. So either way, these pullbacks are needed, especially uh, the parts we don't like, like how long it can take, because it can take a long time for these pullbacks to really even themselves out to level out and prepare themselves for a nice move to the upside. What we've seen over the past 24 hours is a very good, a very good move to the upside that is giving uh, a lot of confidence in Bitcoin beginning to reverse. And so one of the main things here is that we see Bitcoin really having its first attempt at breaking out of this um, descending level of resistance here. So that's very good. 
This is what they're talking about here, like a potential bull flag, uh, just like in this article, something like this, which I absolutely believe it is. I don't think any of this is bearish. Even if we do hit 50K, I think the next target would be 70, 80, 90, up to six digits over the next uh, couple of weeks to couple of months. That's the whole point anyway. The whole point is we're still in a bull market, okay? So whether or not we hit 50K or not, it doesn't really matter. The whole point is that this is still bullish. With that being said, this doesn't need to be the real breakout. But this is showing a lot of good signs right now that it is, okay? You see, we're kind of just breaking that level of resistance here. And it's just really important to be doing that. And as you can see, we bounced right down to this next level of support. And another strong bounce is a good sign. So uh, obviously, as we talked about, we spent, how long was this? Maybe about roughly almost three days in the bigly bone zone between 52 and 54,000. And now we've actually broken back out of we've gone straight past the bone zone and now we're going straight up. So again, good signs there. And we've broken on the six hour chart, the 21 and 50, which are just really important short-term moving averages, which you can see we got rejected uh, kind of like twice over the last few weeks here. And then when we got up to this, the 50, we got rejected there. And then as soon as we got rejected there, that's when we went from about 59 down to 53. So that was a big rejection. And now we've kind of just Bart, uh, Barted, Bart Simpson its way back up uh, right here. Okay. So again, this move, uh, everyone kind of expected this to be a, a dumpy move to shake out some trading positions. And it looks as though that's exactly what it was because Bitcoin is fundamentally and technically incredibly bullish right now. Absolutely time sensitive alerts as well. If there's any bonuses, make sure to check out our uh, links in the description and pinned comments below. Without any further ado, it's free.